about our time here in Western Australia, as do the world's best surfers. Three of them about to hit the lineup now in what should be a great way to finish the first round. Felipe Toledo up against last year's event winner here in the West, Sebastian Zietz, and the exciting rookie, Ethan Ewing. Ronnie Blakey here with Pete Mel. And, Restart. Uh, as a result, I get to talk to you for an extra 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what about the rest of the folks that are watching? Let's see if he can get himself onto this thing. Committing now, digging in. And it looks like he's got a pretty good line into this first barrel. But no, this thing is actually going to pinch up and close out. And uh, we're going to be moving back to the main site for the call tomorrow. Good chance that we'll have some good waves on offer there. As we see now, Ethan Ewing trying to get around this one. And he won't be able to do it. That's me personally. But I love this uh, location, West Oz, just because you get that variety. Just having a look at those first couple of rides in this heat. Felipe getting frustrated there, caught behind, and then Ethan had this one. So you have a 0.67 and a 0.43 and a restart. 27 and a half minutes to go. Felipe out once again. And really looking like he wants to get to the end of this one. Building speed. Coils up, but has no wall to work with. And he kicks out. Or will I be surfing main break? Margaret's hits the replay of uh, Felipe's last ride. Pretty uneventful. It really, it really was, you know. And I think that you can see that after this wave, he did. He likes to move. He likes to kind of paddle around and catch waves. Well, Sebastian had a bit of a look at that one. But further down the line, it's Ethan Ewing who picks up the end of this ride. And has a lot of speed. He tucks into the barrel. And he almost punched his way through that foamy section and found the exit, but not quite. Not a lot he could have done in that section except for what he did. Again, getting to that area, and you know, Strider had mentioned that there was a lot of ribs coming up the face. Seems like wave number one is going to give them the best opportunity. Because of that, that telltale arm, and he did. He made a long road through that section, but very end takes him down back to live action now Sebastian Zietz is finally up on his feet let's see what he can do he's been banking some pretty nice free surfing clips but uh, that one's gonna go in the trash all this last heat of the first round with a 2.67 let's check it out this is from during the interview Pete move to that inside section you know with that uh, priority being used just the carve and a snap and then he falls here in this final section. So only earning the 2.67. Keep him busy, though. He's up again out the back, setting up the barrel on the inside. This wave's going to stay open for him. And now he's going to go to the air. Nice double grab on the roof for a moment, but can't ride through that turbulent whitewater. Something coming Felipe's way. Let's see what he can do. A lot of speed. That stance opens up. And he's just trying to get to the open face, but he won't reach the section in order to throw down a big air for us. You could tell that's what he was thinking, though. Oh, how excited do you get? Oh, come on, come on, give him a ramp. You can't allow yourself to go into that kind of negative space. Got to keep it positive. Here he goes. Felipe, he's going to load up some speed here. Let's see what he can do with it. Racing down the line. And he opens up that stance, goes to the air, huge front side. Rotation attempt. Back into the wave. So you would have been able to kind of at least land in, land in the transition. I mean, we saw it coming miles away. Goes up, goes for the grab, and misses. And he sees, almost gets there. And he actually did touch it for a sec, but never really had a true control of the board. Oh, you see that? He actually padded the board and actually got the finger grab just barely. Interesting thought. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at Surfline's forecast. Hold on, we'll get back to that. Ethan Ewing gets a little bit of cover on a decent-sized wave. Just ducked in for a moment. Could see the wave was... Take a look here at this quick barrel first from Ethan. Quickly tucks in and sees it's going to shut down, so exits out the low road. You know, we've seen these barrels kind of get somewhat scored, but not heavily. You know, looking at the 3.73 from Sebastian Zietz, I mean, this is a much bigger wave, but... Sebastian got much more barreled. Sebastian might be watching Ricardo too. Here we go, some movement. Seabass using priority on this one, stalling. 
for a moment, but then getting back out in front of it to set up this section. Starting to gurgle, and this one's going to hold open. And he's going to go to the rail now. Tries a little grab rail turn, a lot of steps in the face. Gets to throw his board vertical for a moment. Gets a finish right there on the inside. He yeah, drops in here and wants to pull in right away, but sees it's going to kind of close down. So he stays back and then sees this little suck up section. Pulls in there. Gets nice and deep. And there's that patented rail grab carve. Gets the release and actually gets a final maneuver here. So that, I believe, yeah, will be the best wave of the heat. It's obviously, Pete, not a flat shelf when you look at the way this wave ste steps out. Goes into some deep water sections and really slurps up on that inside plateau of reef there. It's almost like it's two shallow portions of the reef, right? You've got the outside kind of suck-up section that you'll see, but then it goes across a deep section, and that's where I kind of see that crease where it folds away and then goes back into this part where it's nice and shallow again. And you need a certain size wave to allow you to kind of connect those two. Those are big years for Bart Lynch. They sure are. Great to have him on the commentary team. As we see Sebastian Zietz locked in so deep. Oh, oh, oh he's, he's still there. He's the still there. Still going. Oh, wow. my God. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Pete Mel's got 10. I'm sorry. I am well, sorry, eight folks at home. And two thumbs up. <laughs> that Sebastian's got was, look, eight fingers and three thumbs up. Look at him. Have a look at this thing. There, I mean, it was. There, there's moments in this wave where there is no way he's making it. You see that big foam ball, and then you're like, no, he's there again. Oh my god! Look at him. <laughs> That's the best ten ever. <laughs> wow. Oh, that is so sick. I mean, look, look at this again. We're gonna see this wave forever, forever. I mean, he is so surprised. He's like, I can't even believe I'm still here. Look at him. <laughs> hey, shoot him McGavin. What's up? Look at Strider, too. He's just looking at him. Look at this thing. Look at this angle. Straight into it. How deep is he? Felipe's looking at this going, no way. He's like, what? Oh. He's still there. Felipe got the shot. He did, didn't he? Should have had the water shot of it. That was unbelievable. Oh, here's a drone view of it. Oh, you're kidding. Look at him. Where is he here? Right behind the foam ball. That was sick. Amazing. What a finish to the day. Could it have been any better? I've been waiting for it all day. I mean, look at the technique, though. See, everything shifts forward. He's pumping, pumping, pumping. You know, there, kind of solid line. Pumps again, pumps again. Here he's gone. There's like, there's no way. Look at the foam ball coming down on him. No, there's no way. Wait, all of a sudden, he had all that speed. He's still there. Another foam ball on him. He's still there. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't help myself. I was crawling all over you. <laughs> Get off me, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have another look at it. So deep. Did so well to negotiate that first foam ball section, Pete, but the wave just kept grinding away. Strider was a looski. Oh, he's claiming it for him. in. Ten-point ride. Easy for the judges for a 7 a.m. start. As we see, Seabass now just making a victory lap through to the inside, working this crowd with a nice little frontside air. Let's check in with the man of the moment. Ball out there, huh? Out there, that was that salmon ball barrel you had. <laughs> uh, pretty mental. I just pulled in the first part and there's that foam ball. I came through and I was really low and then I like came high and then the last part was really small and I was like, oh, I'm not going to make it. And I just saw your grill just at the end of the tunnel. The strider's like, come on. <laughs> no, I was pretty pumped to like that it let me out at the end. I thought like, oh, I'll guarantee you make, make it that far. It's just going to crumble on you. So I was stuck. Yeah, that wave, you know, that all the waves were, were having those midsection crumbles and then not opening up, especially the second and third wave. That was like the third wave of a set, and it just opened up perfect for you when you dropped in. Did you know it was going to have a read like that? No, I was watching that too, how the first waves were kind of the ones, and um, I saw Ethan go on that one, and I was like, oh, this could be something, and then it just kind of was folding a bit deeper, and I had to paddle like a little bit deep to get into it, and... Uh, I was more planning on just getting those little end barrels because I saw a ton of those going ridden, but um, yeah, stoked to get shacked. North Point. First uh, first event ever out here at North Point, and you got the first 10 of the day. You've got to feel good to, to get the 10 under your belt and get, you know, try to defend the title out here. No, we're just making history, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, it feels good. It feels good to get through that first heat and uh, maybe have a day off and 
Um, just go and enjoy all the waves around here. Well, hopefully you get yourself a back-to-back -back win, get some waves, and uh, we'll get some more. Right on. <laughs>